Or you see me intentionally seeking you because the Mackenzie that I know would never, if Jesus don't see that I love him by now, then he ain't ever gonna obey what I told you to do. Are you going to allow me to interrupt your schedule? Because sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not doing anything at all. About letting God choose your friendships, right? Because I really feel like God chose her for me. Like, we don't work out like pretty girls. Like, we work out like we are that girl. We make a practice of doing that. It is just so free. All of my life, soft life, my daddy got it. I didn't want to post the video. Why? Because I hated the way that I looked. I'm going to show you my body because then they can't get that over. Play that cool cheap free. Hands From a season to isolation to where it's like an overflow. Talking about the Lord doesn't just give you what you lost. He gives you what you lost times a thousand. God is not counting on you to show up in your own strength. He is counting on himself to show up and out through you to bring glory to his name. Oh my God. <laughs> this too much. Hey, Bookies. It is Monday and it is 4.36 p.m. And your girl's leaving work. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering, Kenzie, why? Why are you not going to the gym, right? You want to know? So, y'all... I know last vlog we briefly talked about my friend letting me know that the executive board for our church wants me to be a leader for our youth adults, our young adults, right? And I guess before they announce it over to the church, they're like, they want me to go through this deliverance training. And uh, it's crazy because this training is only on Mondays. Y'all, this training is five hours. Five hours. It starts at 5.30 and it goes until 10 30. now all i want to know is who in their right mind who in their right mind thought it was a good idea to have a training on a monday knowing people first of all it's monday knowing people are getting off of work knowing people had a long day not only is it on monday it's five hours y'all make it make sense who thought that was a good idea? Like, it couldn't have been a Saturday. It starts at 9 and ends at 1 Monday. And I was like, okay, let's think about this. I think this is definitely a case of how bad do you want it because it's only offered on Monday. So it's definitely a how bad do you want it, and then that's when you'll show up, right? And I was just like, mind you, I don't want to do it. Do you? I don't want five hours? I am 1,000% sure I'm about to be falling asleep. I'm about to go to 7-Eleven to get an energy drink. I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner because y'all know, because we talked about it in the last vlog, I'm trying to do at least two weeks of no fast food, like nothing. Like we're not going through any drive throughs We're not going to any restaurants. We got food at home. I wasn't really prepared for today. Um, Yeah. So I'm going to 7-Eleven to get me an energy drink and maybe some Pringles. And whenever I get home at freaking 10 o'clock at night, maybe I'll have a protein shake. But y'all, like, make it make sense, right? Make it make sense. Lord, help me. But then it was just one of those things because I was like, oh, I really don't feel like going today. Maybe next time. But it's always going to be on a Monday. There is never going to be a Monday. There is never going to be a Monday. Ever going to be a Monday where I just can't wait and i'm ready to go to a five hour class there's never going to be one so i'm like kenzie you gotta go you gotta go today you gotta go today so we're gonna go today and i just pray that it blows my mind in ways that i didn't even know that i needed my mind blown you know what i mean um yeah we're just gonna go with the flow so i'm like lord i know that you're not like a genie i know that you're more than a god that just gives us rewards and gives us presents and stuff but um i'm gonna need you to see my effort you see me intentionally seeking you because the mckenzie that i know would never the, oh the mckenzie i know would never do this so if this don't prove you know how you be in relationships and you like now if this don't prove my love to you what's here say if that boy don't love you by now yeah yeah, he will never, ever, never, ever love you. Not saying that that boy is Jesus, but I'm just saying like, if Jesus don't see that I love him by now, then he ain't ever gonna see how much I love him. Y'all, I just be playing and talking, but like for real, a Monday, 
five hours? I'm, I'm sleepy from work and you're trying to make me go to a five hour class about Jesus? Five hours? We're gonna get a word. The word's gonna bless me. And not only that, not y'all know I don't like to drive. Everything about this is inconvenient for me. But I feel like the Lord is testing my heart. Like everything that I give you and what you've called to do, sometimes it's not gonna be a part of your plan. Sometimes it's not gonna be convenient for me. Or sometimes it's not gonna be convenient for you, but are you gonna obey what I told you to do? Woo! Are you gonna obey what I told you to do? Are you going to allow me to interrupt your schedule? Are you going to allow me to interrupt your plans? Or do you wanna carry on and go about your life as if it's in your hands? You let me know. I told you what to do. Do with it as you please. Ooh! So with that being said, the Holy Spirit told me to go. The Holy Spirit told me not to put it off any longer. Um, so I'm in a season of where, you know, I do what the Holy Spirit told me to do. I was going to say Sally, but there's no Sally. It's just, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I'm pretty sure I will come back and talk to y'all. Um, either if we, I'm sure we're going to have some kind of break, right? I'm either going to come back and talk to y'all when we're having a break in the training or just when I get home because I'm going to need my GPS to come home because the place is far. The place is far. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. I'm stopping at 7-Eleven. I'm about to go get some gas. Um, I'm about to go get some gas and get me um, some energy and we're about to get this thing rolling and get this thing popping come on bruh anyway y'all I love you guys and moral of the story is do what the Holy Spirit tells you to do whether it's convenient for you or not Bye. all right Buki so I made it to the place I'm about to go inside I made good timing I was able to get off of work a bit earlier it's 5.08 and it doesn't start until 5.30, but she wanted me to get here earlier because I guess you like fill out a paper and talk about like what you struggle with and things like that. And so I wanted to come on here and kind of talk about like, I really don't know what to expect from this training, but all I know is that I expect big things to happen from this because I truly feel that God honors his children's obedience. God knows this is not something that I would do. God knows this is not anything I would have ever considered I would have been like it ain't that deep I'll watch a sermon like I feel like God is going to honor my effort God is going to honor my obedience and through that he is about to blow my mind and I am so thankful and I don't want that to get confused with oh I did something good so he's going to give me a treat that's not what I'm saying that's not what I'm saying that's not what I'm saying all I'm saying is miracles happen due to your obedience feel like the Holy Spirit has put it on my heart I don't care if it's inconvenient, you need to go. And I said, yes. Through my yes, it is breaking open to my miracle. And I am very expectant. I'm expecting to not only learn how to deliver myself and speak over myself and truly have confidence in what it is that I'm saying, but learning and having the ability to do that for the ones that I love and do that for those that are around me. So that's what I'm expecting. And I am excited to see what comes from it. But y'all, what I ended up getting from 7-Eleven. So I got my Alani new. You see it? Y'all, I'm always going to do that. If I'm ever showing y'all anything, because it'd be cracking me up when I'd be watching Makeup Influencer. They'd be like. So I got that. And then I was honestly looking like for some Pringles or something. But then this caught my eye. I love pretzels, but I really, I never think to get pretzels. But y'all, they have these flaming hot pretzels and i was like sounds amazing so i'm gonna get them done but anywho y'all let me get up in here and i will talk to you guys later bye hey y'all so deliverance is over and it is i just got home it's 10 40 and um i was gonna just wait to talk to you guys tomorrow but then i was like i wanted to talk to you guys while it was still fresh on my heart and everything um, I wanted to wait till tomorrow so I could like soak it in, but I feel like times like this, I just need to document the moment. Uh, okay. it was, I am so thankful. When I tell you that I'm finally starting to accept that the Lord has a huge calling on my life, that the Lord has a huge purpose for me. I never used to believe that. When I tell you I believe it because the way that I see that he's working and the way that I see his supernatural powers and that he is so, 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 so good. This deliverance class was the most freeing thing I have ever experienced in my life. And um, I'll probably 
I'm not going to speak much on it because it may be its own separate video just talking about deliverance and what deliverance is. Um, but basically, breaking ungodly soul ties, coming out of agreements, finding the root of the issue and not just attacking the... F it's not fruit. Not just attacking the rotten fruit. I don't know another word, but not just attacking the rotten fruit that produced from it. Like, what is the root? Like, where did this come from? And it was just crazy because like he confirmed that you hear from the Holy Spirit very well. Now, mind you, with me being new into this, I sometimes question if I'm hearing from the Holy Spirit or if I'm just talking to myself, you know, and uh, he confirmed. He confirmed that I hear very well from the Holy Spirit. He confirmed and I don't even know if confirm is the right word, but he was like, I can tell that you are doing the work. I can tell how much inner work you have done. And that gets, that gets me emotional simply because sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not doing anything at all. But he was like, I can see the work that you have done. You hear well from the Holy Spirit. Your gift is a seer. You have amazing visuals because y'all know I've been saying that. That I feel like the Lord gives me visuals, right? How like the last one, I was like, they're at a poker table. They were betting on me. Who's going to win? He kept giving me scenarios and I'm like, this is what I'm seeing. And like, what a beautiful thing it is for somebody It's a beautiful thing for somebody to see the gifts that the Lord has given you and be able to speak life over those things for you, whether you believe it or not just yet. Um, it was really telling. And this is where I'll end it because, like I said, I think I may want it to be its own separate video. And I also need to get upstairs. Your girl is tired. I've not been home all day. Um, but I must try to say this the right way. He was basically saying how the devil will use that same gift that the Lord has given you. For example, me being a seer, how if it's not stewarded, stewarded, if you don't steward it properly, how the devil will use perversion to manipulate it, to turn it, to twist it. So basically now I'm a seer, right? But I'm not seeing things through the perspective of the lens of God. Like I'm not seeing things through the lens of God the devil has perversed it and now I'm seeing things through his lens through his perspective I'm not seeing things correctly and with me being a seer my visuals are heavy my visuals are clear like clear cut so just think of how dangerous that is in the hands of the devil and not the Lord with me being able to see so precisely how dangerous is it that that was in the Lord's not the Lord's how dangerous is it that that was in the devil's hands? He was making me see things this way. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just thankful. I'm going to end this here. Um, I'm just thankful for the Lord's relentless, continuous pursuit, you know? That man, <laughs> Jesus Christ, JC. He has not let me go. He has not let me go. The relentless pursuit. And not only just him, but the relentless pursuit of the people that he's placed in my life here on physical earth. The people who have not let me go. The people who have not let me be content with being mediocre. Those people who have not given up on me time and time again where I'm like, I don't want to. Those people who have still just poked. I thank you. It's really cool and I'm getting emotional because it's like I feel like I'm finally seeing what it is that everyone else saw. Thank you, God. I'm going to sleep. Um, yeah. So I'm going to bed. Um, I already let my team know tomorrow I'm coming in late because I I'm exhausted and um I cry so much. It was literally like a therapy session. Like this man had me think about like my first hurt, like things that I would never think about. The Holy Spirit was able to pinpoint that's that's where it rooted from. He had me close my eyes and say, think of a time 
where you're first hurt, your first trauma, the first thing that comes up, what is it? Things that y'all, I haven't thought about in who knows how long came up and I said, oh, that did happen, didn't it? The Holy Spirit said, this is the root. Blew my mind. I keep saying I'm gonna leave. I'm leaving y'all. Um, just know that I'm happy and the Lord met me. So I guess I'll end this on, y'all know how literally coming up to this, I was complaining about why is this five hours? Why is it on a Monday? It's really about how bad do you want it? Because I needed everything that happened tonight. And honestly, I could have stayed longer. When you feel the Lord working on your heart and healing you in such a way, you don't want to leave that kind of presence. I wanted to stay longer. Obey the voice in your head that's telling you to do something, whether it's convenient for you to do it or not. Stop putting it off. The Lord is wanting to use you. The Lord is calling you. Are you going to pick up the phone? I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Bookies. It is Tuesday and it is like past 2 p.m. right now. I know last night I told you guys I was going to go into work late, but I woke up this morning and my eyes were swollen. <laughs> my eyes were so swollen from crying. I was like, I can't. I'm not about to go to work like this. I am not. And then I just got up and my period started. So I'm like, okay, it all makes sense of why I just feel like, uh. So yeah, we are not going to work today. Um, I have been knocked out. When I tell you guys, when I got in last night, I spoke the most powerful prayer I feel like I've ever spoke. And I feel like I now have so many more tools to fight with. And I am going to show you guys those tools. But like I said, I want that to be its own separate video just to make sure it doesn't miss those people that need to see it. But I have so many more tools. I had like my papers, my pamphlets. I was going in as if the deliverance wasn't enough. I was just like on fire, right? And like I said, that on top of my period, I was just like, oh, I'm down bad. And I'm cramping right now, but I can't take medicine because I haven't ate yet. Oh, Jesus, I really want to maximize being off and put up my Christmas tree, but I don't feel good. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, hopefully I feel better later. I would love to put up my Christmas tree today. So this weekend I have a bit more free time. You know what I mean? I don't know. I wasn't planning to be off. Part of me is wanting to feel bad about that. But after going through deliverance training and like letting condemnation go and letting all of these things go, it's like not saying I feel nothing, but it's like, what is that? My daddy didn't give that to me. So no, I don't feel that. <laughs> and I don't feel that. And I'm not about to put that in my bag. Just throw it in the bag. We're not throwing that in the bag. Um, anywho, I will talk to you guys when I get up. I just wanted to check in because it's two o'clock and I still don't feel like getting out of my bed. I think because my cramps are just now starting to ramp up. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys when I actually get up and do something with my life. All right. All right, you guys. So I just went to the gym. Um, I decided to go to the gym on lunch because I want to go home and make sure I get my Christmas tree put up. Y'all, I should have been and had my Christmas tree put up. But the way that December is just escaping me, okay? It's going by too fast. And so I didn't want to wait till this weekend because I was pretty sure I was going to end up postponing it because I got stuff to do. So I ended up going to the gym on lunch today. I had a great time. I did 30 minutes on the treadmill. I lied. I did 30 minutes on the elliptical. I did lunges, hip thrust, and some squats, some cable squats, and it was awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys when I get off work. Bye. <laughs> All right, hey, Bookies. Okay, so remember earlier I told you guys I was gonna make sure to come back to you after I got off work. So I was supposed to go right home um, because I was going to put up the tree with my friend and drink wine and do all those things. I'm still going to do that, but I got bamboozled into playing a volleyball game and I wasn't going to play at all, but like I miss every single volleyball game that they play. And I was like, I really want to play. And so I'm going to do it, but be proud of me guys. I set boundaries for myself. We're leaving no later than six o'clock. It is currently like five Oh five. So we're about to play some volleyball. I'll Keep talk to you guys drink. later. Oh, so you want to talk, but you don't want to be in my vault. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to show her face, but she want to talk or whatever. Anyway, guys, we're doing good today. Today was a really good day. We'll talk about it later. Okay, love you. Bye.
Kristoff. Hey, Bookies. It is Wednesday and it is 6.04 and I am on my way home. Um, so the last time I saw you guys, I was going to play volleyball. Y'all should be proud of me because your girl set boundaries and she's sticking to them. I'm proud of myself because y'all, we was playing, playing. Like it was some game games, but I real life got stuff to do. And um, I was scared that, you know, December is going so fast. Like my plans was to have my tree up by like the end of November, like after Thanksgiving, y'all like that week I had off. And of course it didn't happen. And I was like, the way my life is going right now, I'm gonna look up and it's gonna be like December 23rd and my tree is not gonna be up. And why are y'all speeding? And that's just like not gonna work for me. And so my leader at work today was nice enough to let me take a long lunch. And so I had an amazing workout, y'all. Like literally phenomenal. And it was really a shocker for me because I have been cramping ever since yesterday, like horribly, right? And I wasn't able to take medicine because like whenever I'm like freshly on my period, I don't want to eat. It does not sound appealing to me. Like I get nauseous. It makes me feel nauseous thinking about food, thinking about eating. So because I can't eat, I'm not taking medicine. So I'm like just sitting there dying. And I know that sounds stupid. Like girl, put something on your stomach. But like, I'd rather do that and then, then throw up. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't like throwing up. Um, but anywho, I'm proud of myself for pushing through going to the gym because it was so good. Even though I was cramping, I got such a good sweat in. So I did my thousand jumps on TikTok live. I did 30 minutes on the elliptical. I did hip thrust, my lunges. And I don't know what these things are called. I put them in the last video, but they're squats. Um, I have the cable and I'm like this and I'm squatting with the weight. I really, I don't know what those are called, but anywho, they were in the last video if you wanting to know what those are. Uh, so yeah, and then I got told today that there have been complaints about me with my tripod in the gym, which is honestly weird to me because I don't be having nobody in there and I be minding my own business. You're not in my videos, why is there a problem? People hate to see me be happy. People hate to see me do great things. Um, so yeah, I really don't know what it's gonna move forward and look like when it comes to my gym content, um, but we're gonna figure it out. That's all I can say, we're gonna figure it out. And yeah, maybe if I just have to stay upstairs when I have you guys, I don't know, but that is so annoying. Anyway, I listened to an inside job by Sarah Jakes. I wasn't able to finish it all, of course, since I was on my lunch, but from the looks of it, it's going to be really good and I'm excited to finish it. I'll either finish it tonight or I'll finish it tomorrow. Um, but basically, it sounded like the purpose of it was before God blesses you with the miracle, he's going to do a miracle within you first. So many people, we think about the external miracles. Oh, I can't wait to be financially stable. I can't wait to be blessed with this car. I can't wait to be blessed with this money. But we never talk about, I can't wait to wake up and feel healed for real. I can't wake up to, I can't wait to wake up to feel happy for real. I can't wait to wake up and literally trust that what God says it was is what God says. And I literally ain't worried about a thing. That's the kind of internal healing I'm looking for. That's the kind of internal healing that I'm praying for. So yes, I can't wait for that miracle to take place. And that's what she was saying. The real miracle is an inside job. And um, yeah, I'm excited to watch the rest of that. But y'all, I know I talked to you a little bit about the deliverance that I did on Monday night, but oh, I just, I'm so thankful for it because it's so funny. Like every time my mind tries to go back to something I literally instantly check myself like, we delivered that away. Like, that's gone. You were delivered from that. Why are we picking it back up? Are you saying you don't trust God anymore? Literally, that's how I talk to myself. Because when we were in, oh, I keep saying I'm gonna make my own video and then I keep telling y'all everything. I'm gonna stop it here. But we literally will like cup our hands. Uh-uh, I'm not gonna do it. 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 Because I'm trying to make that its own video. Oh, I'm trying to make it its own video. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, outside of that, I'm excited because I'm doing really good on my eating, right? So I, I'm pretty sure I told you guys that I'm not going to be eating out for a full 14 days. And the reason I said that is because I bought myself some new headphones for those that don't know, some bum beach uh, at the store. I said at the store. At my job, stole my mother headphones. Like, yes, I may have left them at the gym, but normal people 
would have took them to the front desk and said, hey, somebody left these. I'm just bringing these up here. Like, I found people's phones and stuff before in the gym, and I've never just decided I'm going to take them home. Anyway, so I bought me some new beats, and I was like, we're going to wrap them up, and you can unwrap them on Christmas on December 31st. However, comma, that is the one gift that I literally want, like, today. They're my headphones, y'all, and they're wireless. Like, they're my headphones. And so I told myself, I'll make you do I'll make you a deal. Go 14 days without going out to eat whatsoever, and you can open them up on that 15th day. If not, baby, you're waiting until the first of the year. And let me tell you something. That is really the motivation I needed because I'm not doing it. I'm not eating bad. I'm not eating out. Um, so today, it was like 9.30. Oh, I did eat something, I guess, but I guess it wasn't. Why did I take medicine? Y'all, I'm sitting up here thinking about my day with y'all. Like around 9 30, 10 o'clock, I did have coffee because I wanted it to like warm up. And so I, I didn't have a heating pad. And so I had some coffee. And then I had my Velveeta crackers with the coffee, which was really good. Um, and then after that, I went to do my workout. And then I ended up eating around like 2 30, 3 o'clock. And someone at work, I guess they grill and they sell plates. And he was nice enough to leave me a plate of ribs. So he left me like four ribs. That sounds like a lot, but it wasn't. They were really small. And y'all, they were so freaking good. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. They were amazing. So I had those four ribs for lunch. And then I haven't had anything else right now. My water. Here's my water. I'm doing really good. I'm definitely about to finish this bad boy tonight. Um, when it comes to dinner, I honestly, like I said, I'm not feeling like eating for real so I don't know what I'm gonna eat I just don't need it I know I need to eat something so I'm either gonna make me a turkey cheese bacon sandwich or I'm gonna eat an egg bowl and a protein shake I don't know but what I do know is that my best friend she's coming over and we're gonna put up the Christmas tree together and we're gonna drink wine and that makes me really happy and that is gonna be its own YouTube video which I'm super excited about y'all I met this girl at church and like it's just such a beautiful thing when it's like I think I saw a video on TikTok about letting God choose your friendships right because I really feel like God chose her for me and she agrees and it's just beautiful when it's like you're in a mutual friendship where you expect the same things you want the same things and like you just align right um because I used to have a friend and there's definitely no bad blood there because I'm sure y'all have heard like that whole uh, I don't want to say communication. It was like a whole, what do you call it? I don't want to say it was a debate. Anyway, about low maintenance friendships and things of that nature. And there was always comments about how low maintenance friends is just an excuse to be a bad friend. But then there were other people that were like, I love low maintenance friendships. And I remember my stance on that was just like dating and just the same way you go looking for a man and you're trying to see if your values align. I feel like it's the same way with the friendship. Like, what are you looking for in a friend? How often would you like to communicate? What exactly do you like to do? Like the same way you pick your spouse, I honestly feel like it's the same way you go about friendships, right? So like one of my friends, um, we would always clash and I think we just had different feelings of what friendship looked like. She could go days, weeks without talking to me. Um, when it came to hanging out, she would just be like, whatever happens, happens. Whereas me, I'm like, I value my friendships. It's not a whatever happens, happens. Like, are you free Friday at 2 p.m.? Like type shit. Like, I want to make time to see you because you're important to me. You wouldn't have a boyfriend and say, oh, whatever happens, happens. When I see you, I see you. Like, so I don't move that way with my friends. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is I found her. We met each other at church and we have been locked in ever since. And I am so thankful for her because we have the same values and wants and needs when it comes to a friendship. So it just works. And I'm happy about it. And it just blows my mind because to think about the time I was crying when I was losing all these friends and God was just up there like, little does she know, they are coming and they are coming in overflow. Like I have a lot of them now. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, y'all, I am going to talk to you guys later. Make sure you watch the blog that I'm gonna upload about me putting up the Christmas tree. We're gonna have a great time. It sucks that copyright is a thing because the way I really wanna play like Christmas music and make it a vibe, and upload it but i can't because of copyright like y'all know i didn't make this music y'all okay one last thing right so can we talk about how sexy it is for a man to be assertive can we talk about it so there's this guy that 
is in my DMs on Instagram, right? And he says something like, uh, maybe we'll see each other one day or maybe we can make plans or something like that. And I don't like that kind of talk because I like an assertive man. Like you either gonna see me or you not, just like I talked about with the friendships, right? And so I was like, I mean, if you're saying maybe, then maybe we will, maybe we won't. And he was like, let me reword this. Text me your availability. I am going to plan something and I'll let you know what it is or something like that. I'm gonna plan something next week. Text me your availability and we'll go from there. Period. Man, if you ever have questions on how to show up, that's how you show up. Okay. Period. Period. I was like, now that, that's how you come. That's how you come right there. That's how you approach a woman. Text me your availability. I'm going to plan something for us and I'm going to see you next week. Period. Woo! Talk about sexy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Um, so, yeah. And it's funny because I'm kind of nervous because I haven't really dated for real. I haven't dated for real. I'll be like attracting flings and I'm not a fling type of girl, but it's okay because I know that that means I'm attracting flings because something I'm putting out in the world, I don't know, but I don't want flings. I want a husband. Anyway, I'm just talking. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. I just have to come on here and tell you guys. So my, my bookie butt is here, right? And y'all know I just literally told y'all on the way home how I could not eat out for 14 days. Mm. Y'all want to know what's going on in front of my face? Talk. You want to talk about disrespect? Excuse me. What do you have to say about this? I told her it's discipline. That's all it is. It's just discipline. Why would this girl come with Chick Fil A to my house? Babe, I'm okay. We're in this together. You can only do so much, you know. <laughs> when you got friends that. You, you can only do so much. But anywho, we're about to put up the tree. We're about to drink some wine. We're about to have some girl time. So make sure you tune into that video. All right, bye. Ugh. Hey, bookies. It is Thursday and it is currently 7.48. And yes, I'm talking to you from the locker room because I want to jam out to my music on the way home. So how was my day? My day was great. So I'm in my new job and I love my new job. And I think I'm finally in like the, you know, when it's like, you start a new journey and you just feel like this is a fresh start. Well, I feel like I'm in that season of like, this is a fresh start. And it's crazy because like, I know that I haven't been telling you guys exactly what I've been eating like I used to, but just know that I'm still doing good and I have not ate out, which is crazy to me because y'all know your girl be eating out. I haven't been eating out and that's great. And it's crazy because like, you're seeing your, I don't know how to explain this. For me, it's like my scene matters because like the last role that I was in, right? It was easy for me to want to eat out. I don't know if it was nerves. I was anxious because I had nothing going on because I had nothing to do. But all I wanted to do was just eat, 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 snack, snack, snack. Now I'm in this new world where I have to manage my time wisely. Not saying I didn't have to do that in the last role, but this role is just different. I had to manage my time wisely. I need to be reaching out to people. I need to talk to clients. Like things are different. So like, y'all, not that this is good. Don't be like me. I literally haven't ate all day i don't know i know how i'm still moving because maybe you've been eating so like y'all this just reminded me y'all know the uh 600 pound life episode i'm gonna try to find it when she was like mind you over 600 pounds and she was like i just can't go this many days without eating he said you could go weeks without eating and you'd be okay i was like oh. so anywho that's how i'm fine today but literally i have been so busy and like just on top of everything today i haven't even ate anything and I haven't thought about it either. So I'm like, I'm really excited about what this is going to be like for me because I love that it's a fresh start. And I just, I'm just happy y'all. Ever since Monday and I talked to you guys about the deliverance that happened, I've just been happy. Like, I don't know what else to say. I'm just thankful that God is a restorer. I'm just thankful that God is a healer. And I'm just thankful that God is faithful. Like no matter how many times we mess up. Cause like y'all, Y'all know the last time that I was down for real was because of my ex. He knows how many times I have messed up when it has came to that man. And he said, but I still have grace for you. I understand that that was hard for you, but I'm thankful that you're continuing to push forward. I'm thankful that you're still trusting me with this pain and trusting that I'm going to bring glory to it. That's good. I'm grateful. Um, so yeah, work was good. I'm going to go home. I don't know exactly what I'm going to eat. Um, but I know it's not going to be fast food. It's going to be whatever I have in the freaking house. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. 
we're going to start the weekly weigh-ins again, y'all. I've just, I, I know the number shouldn't matter, but it's easier said than done. The number does discourage me. I do get upset when I see the number and I was just tired of doing that to myself. You know what I mean? However, I do like to do it because I like the accountability that it gives me. So we're going to start weekly weigh-ins again next weekend. I'm still currently on my cycle, so I don't want to weigh myself this weekend. I want to give my body time to really, you know, just snap back into, okay, we're not on our monthly cycle. She's not eating like crap. You know what I mean? So that's all. I just, I'm going to be honest. I was feeling very discouraged. Like, Kenzie, I'm tired of you coming and showing yourself like this, and I feel like you're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But we're going to get back to them. So don't think that I just abandoned you guys with that. Um, yeah, so work was cool. Uh, so the gym, y'all. I worked out with my friend Felicia. And I'm so sad that she wasn't in the footage that I got for this workout. Because I'm going to show y'all my workout here. Uh, train her feet for running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire then. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways. But it's harder on the cold day. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you. So yeah, the workout was freaking insane. Like I have a love-hate relationship working out with my bookie butt, okay? Because she makes me feel like I have never worked out in my entire life. Like I don't know what it is, but the way that this girl works me out is literally insane. Literally insane. Like if you hated me, you could just say that because why are you trying to hurt me like this? Like why does love have to equal pain? Anyway, anyway, I love working out with her because we definitely have the same level of like, I don't want to say aggression, but just like, ugh, like we don't work out like pretty girls. Like we work out like we are that girl. Okay, period. We ain't playing in the gym. I might whine about it, but we ain't playing in the gym. I'm going to make sure she gets, maybe I'll have a whole YouTube video of just her working me out because that girl will just be losing her mind in this gym. And like I said, I hate it in the moment, but I love it after the fact. And yes, y'all, I burned like 1,200 calories in this one workout, by the way. Anyway, that's me the hand right there. So I can't even tell you all the things we did. So y'all saw the workout. It was it was just a lot. And that's the thing, too. Me, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, lower body. Tuesday, Thursday, upper body. This girl, full body, all day, every day. So everything gets worked out. That's why I be hurting. Oh. Anyway, I love her so much. I'm just really thankful for everything that the Lord is doing. And it's crazy, too, because like, I honestly feel like ever since deliverance on Monday, my lens, my perspective has changed so much. And so it's like, instead of just focusing on the bad or instead of focusing on what's not working out, I'm just seeing everything so much more clearly and everything is so much more beautiful to me. And I'm just thankful. Oh, my perspective has just changed drastically. And I think I talked about this in another part of this vlog or whatever but it's like anytime I feel like my mind is trying to take me somewhere that I know is not of God and that I know isn't going to help me with anything I literally said you remember you cupped your hands you put that concern there and you lifted it up to God so you putting it back in your mind that's like you saying God I want this I'm gonna handle it and I'm not soft life soft life baby all 2024 all of my life, soft life. My daddy got it. My daddy said he was going to handle it, and I'm going to let him handle it. I don't want to be the macho man. JC is the macho man. I'm not. I'm not. So I've done really good with checking myself. Like, Mackenzie, why are you letting this thought come back in? Y'all want to know something? Okay, let's talk about it. So today, yesterday was really good, y'all. So I have a friend that we became like really close and I'm super thankful because if y'all saw, I had a vlog about friendship trauma and just like being isolated alone. I have met a friend that I truly feel like the Lord sent to me just for me and I'm so happy about it and it makes me want to cry because I'm like, I never, don't cry kids, we're still Lord. I never thought that I would be here, you know, to have a friend like this because it's so hard to find friends as an adult so I never thought that I would be here. Um, but I told her yesterday, 
hey, I know it's a Wednesday, but like, I would love for you to come over and drink wine and we could put up my tree and make a YouTube video. This YouTube video, mind you, I thought it was gonna be a cute 10, 15 minute YouTube video because we're just putting up a tree and it wasn't nothing that deep. But y'all, we started just talking and I mean like, not just talking about nonsense and not just talking about bull crap or gossip. Like we were talking about like Christian girl chat, kingdom relationships. What is it that you struggle with on your Christian girl journey? What is it like just good talk? And it just made me so happy and feel, oh crap. It filled my cup up so much, y'all. That video is over an hour long. And I just uploaded that video. So if y'all haven't checked it out, I'm going to put it up right here. Make sure you go tune in. It is good. And if y'all want more girl chats like that from us, make sure you link that in the comments or put that down in the comments because I go off of your feedback because if you're not going to watch it, I'm not going to post it. Um, but yeah, I say all that to say, wrapping up our last point, um, thoughts, negative thoughts that come into your head, right? This is an amazing video, and I truly feel like this is what the world needs to hear. Transparency, right? Um, I didn't want to post the video. Why? Because I hated the way that I looked. I hated the way that my body looked. I felt like I just looked horrible, and I was just ripping myself to shreds. And that thought was just in my head, just spinning. And I had to check myself. I was like, Kinsey, is that a godly thought? Is that a kingdom thought? Did your daddy give you that thought and i said no he didn't i cut my hands and i said i'm the deliverance video is coming and that's going to make sense but long story short in deliverance they said physically cup your hands so you can act as if you're seeing this put it in your hands and give it to your father stress about this i'm putting it in my hands i'm concerned about this i'm putting it in my hands body struggles body image struggles gluttony all the issues, just list them out and physically, like, envision yourself putting it in your hands and saying, but daddy, I give it to you. And you're done with it. And like, when you make a practice of doing that, it is just so freeing. So like, I took that thought, I was like, Lord, I'm struggling with my body image. I'm really not feeling beautiful right now. I really feel like I look like 600 pounds. I feel good sometimes, but when I see myself on video, I hate the way that I look literally put it all in there and say can you help me with this and then it's gone so it's like take that out of your mind because that's not a kingdom thought and that's not anything that you want to marinate on i just saw a TikTok and he was like you are allowing a killer to sit at your table and eat dinner with you and i was like "Ooh, that's interesting right and he was like we're letting the killer the devil because you know he came to kill steal and destroy sit at our table and have dinner with us so me allowing that thought to marinate in my mind about how much I felt like I hated my body, how much I hated how I looked, I'm literally having dinner with the devil. Like, y'all, would you let Dahmer come in your house and have dinner with you? Absolutely not. So why are we sitting up here entertaining a killer coming into our minds and I'm saying, wait a minute, you hear me? It's kind of like I talked about earlier about um, locking your doors, right? We lock our doors, we lock our windows to make sure that we're keeping ourselves safe from all predators. But why is it when we go to sleep, we go to sleep without reading the word, we go to sleep without talking to God because we think we're fine. That means we're leaving the door to our mind open to attacks. We're leaving the windows to our mind open. We clearly don't give no S because we didn't talk. Let me let it go. But it was just really good. I'm just telling y'all that was really good and I posted the video anyway. So again, yes, go watch it. Um, but it was just something I had to check myself on. Because really, like really though, why am I gonna sit up here and beat myself up about something that literally I have the power to change? Make it make sense, Abuki. Anyway, I'm just really in a thankful spirit. I, I have a thankful heart. And yeah, so that video was posted today. Y'all, let me tell you something. Please help me get monetized on YouTube. This is probably like having to upload this video and having the storage on this phone I have a 256 gigabyte iPhone. Mind you, I have my weekly vlog content and then I have this random hour long video from this girl chat. I was fighting for my life trying to get this video up. I literally had to delete like dang near everything off my phone just so I could get this up on YouTube because I had no storage. And I'm just like, it is time for me to upgrade to a camera that I can buy SIM cards so I can never run out of storage. I just got to buy more storage and SIM cards and a laptop. But who got that kind of money? Who got that kind of money? 
So I told myself with my first YouTube check, I will buy that, but I don't know how long it's going to take me to get monetized. So I don't know if I want to set that kind of goal. But anyway, y'all should love me because it literally took me everything I had in me. I fought for my life to get that video for y'all. I was this close to saying, F it. I tried my best. I can't, I can't upload it. I don't have storage and I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to do. Uh, but anywho, I love the video and it is up. Let me know all the thoughts and all the comments and stuff on it. So yeah, I had a really good day. Let me say, <sighs> water check. We're doing really good. Let's take some goals together. Cheers, bookies. I love y'all. We are almost to 2024. And if anybody hasn't told you as of late, I'm so proud of you. Y'all want to have a moment? Y'all want to have a moment? I'm really proud of you. I am proud that I feel like anybody that watches my content, we must be relating in some kind of shape, way, or form, okay? I feel like we relate in some way. So if you're watching this, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I want you to know that no matter how many times that you fail, no matter how many times you struggle, no matter how many times you fall down, none of it matters. I know it's frustrating. Yes, it's going to be frustrating. Tell me about it. But none of it matters because you always have the opportunity, if you're graced with another day, to have the opportunity to be better, to have the chance to be better. So I don't care what anybody has to say about how long it's taking you on your journey. I don't care what anybody has to say. It's not their journey. And if they have anything to say about your journey, baby, what are they doing with theirs? Because why do they got time to comment on yours? Yeah. So I just want you to know that I love you guys. And I want you to keep fighting no matter what anybody else says. Keep fighting those negative thoughts. If y'all have tips, or not tips, but like requests of what kind of videos y'all want from me, like, how I fight negative thoughts or anything that you're needing help with, please, please, please let me know in the comments. I read my comments. I will make videos for you guys and we can talk about it. What are you struggling with and how can I help you? I love you guys. Hang on. Cheers. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, put a smile on your face. <laughs> okay, I'm about to end this um, because it's already 8.02 and I need to go home. But I wanted to show y'all my body. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Hey, I'm going to show you my body because it's like really great. <laughs> Do y'all see the body? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know how to do <laughs> I don't know how to do those poses and everything, but that's what I'm talking about. After the gym and like gym clothes, I feel awesome. I feel my sexiest when I'm at the gym. And then I'll put on other clothes and see myself on video and think I look like a 500 pound man. I don't know. It's horrible. But anyway, I'm feeling myself today. <laughs> I'm feeling myself today because like what? Talk to Big kids are not the little way. Big kids are not the little way. Y'all no, want to know something? So I was telling my friend today when we were doing our little thing. So like, I'm not a TikTok dance really whatsoever. However, that bend that over, take that Gucci brief, take that ass, hands on your neck. Let me go. I'm going. <laughs> hey, bookies. It is Friday and it is currently 7.35. Whew, I just got done working out. I don't have long to talk because in 10 minutes, I'm about to have a leadership call with um, a leader from my church because we're talk basically going to be talking about me joining the prayer team. So, anywho, my day was awesome today. When I tell you it was awesome, it was literally awesome. I love my job. I love my new job. I now remember what it felt like to love coming to work and to love the position that I'm in um, because I don't think I told you guys. So, basically, the job I'm doing now, I train clients on how to use our software and I used to do this a few years ago. It was in a different department, but they got rid of the role, like they dissolved it. So it made me go find something else that I was interested in. And I have always said that was my favorite role here. Everything else that I've ever had is just a job. I've been here almost six years and I've had five different jobs. <laughs> and that's not like a bad thing. Like it's a beautiful thing to be able to work your way up within a company and just kind of do anything that finds It'd be interesting to you, like, you know, I have so much knowledge, like, your girl is so marked. I know a lot about everything, okay? Um, 
So basically they got rid of the role and years later they brought the role back but it's in a different department but it's like the same exact thing and I'm just so happy because I don't know what it is. I never wanted to be a teacher per se like teaching kids but I'm a dope trainer like when i tell you you know when you it's not even a cocky thing like when you just know you good at your job i just know i'm good at my job period who gonna check me no i'm joking um but i just i love my job and i'm just super happy that i'm back in this place because i realized that maybe it was because i didn't not that it's an excuse but i realized that i didn't necessarily like my circumstances and it just carried out into how i carried myself carried out to how i dressed carried out to how i ate but now it's like i'm in a job where I love it, so I want to show up better for myself, if that makes sense. Like, I want to go shopping, I want to get blazers, I want to start being cute at work. Like, everything is just different, and I'm just very extremely thankful for it. So, yay to that. Um, I play volleyball at lunch, and when I tell you that was some collegiate volleyball, okay? Like, usually when we come on lunch to play volleyball, it's like a cute little bump set pass kind of thing, but like, no, this was collegiate bump set spike like we was going in and I was like my god they had the music going we was having a great time I was like oh this is lit it's Friday it was like 70 degrees outside it was feeling like a good old March back in like 2016 or something I was like Jesus yes it was a great freaking day um and then yeah and then I came to the gym and I've had an amazing workout when I tell you I just love the gym I love being here so much I'll put on my music I'll listen to my Eric Gales. There's a few of you guys that know that Eric Gales too close to the fire. I'll put a picture right here. Please, if you want to get to know me, go listen to this video. Listen to the video. When I tell you I am a sucker for a good guitar, I'm a sucker for a good saxophone, makes my day. I could listen to it all day and night, give me a glass of wine, and that is a vibe. Oh my God. I've always said that my dream date, dream date would be for a man to take me out for some wine where we get dressed up and stuff and we go to like a jazzy I don't even want to say club because it's not a club a jazzy something where they're playing live good music or even I don't even want to say rock because it's like jazzy soul Eric Gales is like a jazzy soul to me so oh my god that would be the best date of my life that's how I'm gonna know I met my husband whenever that happens um what time is it 740 um so yeah i had a great workout i'm gonna show you guys duh i recorded everything my body is sore my body is hurt so yeah <laughs> Sitting on the grass laying side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See all that So we're about to have this cray haul Um, and then after I do that I'm probably gonna go to Walmart Because I wanna get a few things I need to stock my fridge up Because we're still going good with the no eating out And if I'm to be honest, it makes me really sad Because like, <laughs> I want Wingstop So I'm not eating out though, so that means that I'm probably going to make wings myself this weekend and we're going to see how that goes. Even though I'm kind of nervous about doing it because I think I might need a new air fryer, but your girl's not trying to spend no more money. I think I might need a new air fryer because I've had it for years and people tell me it needs to be replaced because every time I use that thing, my smoke alarm goes off. And there's literally no smoke in the air, but the smoke alarm goes off. And they're like, you need to get a new one because it's probably emitting something that you can't see. And I'm like, <laughs> Anyway, so I don't know what's going to happen, but all I know is that I'm doing really good with the no fast food thing. I really am. And I'm really proud of myself because slowly but surely, I feel like I'm losing the taste of wanting those things, you know, because honestly, it tastes good, but it don't make you feel good. So it's like I'm not necessarily craving it because it don't make me feel good. Why would you go get something that makes you feel like S-H-I-T? Yeah. Um, it's crazy because it's like when you are in a fast food cake, like if I were to go get McDonald's, 
literally they're talking about like there is something in that food that makes you want more like literally got to go back the next day and the next day and the next day but we've made it a full what five six days no fast food and i'm saying um so yeah i'm wanting to go to walmart after this so i can stock up my fridge and i'm most likely going to spend the night cleaning I just have so much to do y'all when I tell you I have postponed doing my laundry for literally like three weeks now it's just piles on piles on piles and I'm like kids I'm stressed I hate laundry so the fact that I even have this much to do it really stresses me out it really grinds my gears <sighs> we're gonna get through it though I need to do my laundry I need to scrub my floors I need to play with my dogs I need to do everything I need to wrap my presents <sighs> It's okay. There's not enough time in the day. I'm going to hang out with my friends. There is literally so much to do. I cannot believe, like, you know, I've talked to you guys about, like, going from a season to isolation to where it's like an overflow of receiving what it is that the Lord has for you. So I was just watching Eat Like a King by Sarah Jakes, right? And she was talking about the Lord doesn't just give you what you lost. He gives you what you lost times a thousand times a million he doesn't just give you oh you lost one friend here you get one friend no you lost one friend watch me give you 200 kingdom godly god ordained friends and let me tell you i can attest to that because y'all already heard me talk about i literally have friendship trauma i've lost friends but the friends that he has for me now in this season that he replaced those with baby i got so many friends now i am like stressed on how am i going to make time for all of you guys like there's not enough time in the day and I want to love on all of them. I literally prayed last night like, God, help me steward the friendships that you're giving me, that you're blessing me with. Help me steward them. Help me love them the way that they need to be loved. You place them in my life for a reason and help me steward it. I prayed for this. Like, I prayed for moments like this. Don't drop the ball, Ken. Lord, you know I'm an introvert. You know I need it like, charge. Like, ah, uh, give me the energy because I've been wanting to stay in my bed and sleep. Lord, give me the energy to be out here in these gospel streets with my friends. <sighs> anyway, yeah. Um, I'll probably come back and talk to y'all later, but it's 7.43, so she'll be calling me soon, so I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye. I am back. The prayer, it wasn't even a prayer call. It was kind of like getting to know about what the prayer team is and the duties and the responsibilities and the expectations. It was all of that. So that call was like an hour and a half long and it was just a beautiful thing. And I'm not even going to go over it all, um, but it was just a really beautiful thing. And it's just really insane to me, the person that I'm becoming, because I would have never imagined, never imagined. Oh, by the way, I'm leaving Sprouts. I was parked outside of Sprouts. Literally, it's 924. I have not been home yet. Um, she was like, this meeting is going to be meaty. You may want to take notes and all that. Ooh, okay, let me get parked. So I've been parked outside of Sprouts this entire time. And um, yeah, I just left Sprouts because y'all know I said that's where I'm gonna get my produce. And since I can't eat out, I was like, I really want a Caesar salad with some chicken, my favorite chicken nuggets y'all know that I love. So I just left Sprouts. I got some oranges, strawberries, some salads and my collagen because I was out of that. I need to order me some more green vibrance. So remember, I do have a 25% discount, um, McKenzie 25 is my code i'll make sure to put that on the screen um and i got some of those little pretzels or whatever i'll show you guys when i get home don't you worry about a thing it's gonna be all right anyway back to the call it's just literally insane to me the person that i'm becoming because i like straight up told her she was like what are you scared of and y'all always know that i always say that i've been scared to pray because i've been in a room with huge voices and i'm like i don't talk like that so i get intimidated and i'm not too big to say that I get intimidated, right? And I was just like, I just feel like there's no way I'm equipped to do this. There's no way I can get to that point just because I don't see it doesn't mean it's there though, right? And I was just kind of telling her how, I don't know why I'm rambling, but basically the same thing that I told y'all. I was like, I'm scared I'm gonna get up to the altar call and pray for somebody and it's gonna be like a 10 second prayer and I'm gonna be like, oh, and everybody else still going on for 30 minutes. You know them prayers are like, I'm not even about to ramble. Y'all, y'all ever have those times where it's like you wanna talk to your girlfriends, you wanna talk to your friends, period, but it's like I just don't have that energy to talk. <sighs> I just don't have the energy. I just know that I'm excited. 
Like I've always seen myself to be this person, but it's crazy seeing me actually walking into it. Like I've dreamt of this person for years. I've dreamt of this Mackenzie for years. And like to see me walking into her is mind blowing to me, a prayer team. And then on top of that, she asked me, can you see yourself doing deliverance? Um, and I was like, the scared me will say no. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be honest because I'm not going to hold myself back. Um, my honest answer is absolutely, I would love to do that. Like the McKenzie in my head, absolutely I can see myself doing that. But the McKenzie I am now, no ma'am. But y'all always have to remember, I had a vlog where I talked about this. Oftentimes, if it's going to bring glory to God and nobody's getting harmed and you're scared to do it, that's where God wants to meet you, right? Because if you're willing to do it, you're jumping to do it, there's no resistance, you're not scared, you're like, yeah, let's do it. Most of the time, you're probably not called to it, you're just doing it because you want to do it. But anytime there is resistance there, you are scared to do a thing, that is where I feel like God is saying the most, how much do you trust me? Do you trust that I will show up through you? Because remember, anytime that you're in situations like this, and I'm talking to myself right now, Mackenzie, God is not counting on you to show up in your own strength. He is counting on himself to show up and out through you to bring glory to his name. So I just have to remember that my only responsibility in this is to say yes. The only thing I gotta do is say yes. Now, Lord, I don't know where we going because I'm not the driver here. You told me you was gonna drive and I said I trust you. So I'ma trust that you ain't gonna run us off the road now, okay? So I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm also excited that I'm getting into this the last month of the year. That just sets the tone off. So freaking awesome. For 2024, I'm just extremely expecting. I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely proud about me. I'm just in a good space. And like, it was crazy because like I've talked, I think I was talking about this earlier in this vlog. She asked me, what do I expect of like my leaders? And I was just like, just true accountability. Because I talked to her and opened up about how I'm an isolation queen. Like I told y'all. I'll go off of social media, no warnings. You know how some people will be like, oh, just so you know, I'm going to be off social media and need a little break, right? No, baby. Y'all ain't getting no warning. If I need to shut it down, I'm going to shut it down. Y'all won't see me for three months. I don't respond to text messages. I'll go to work and I'll go to the gym and that's it. And I was just like, I am in a season right now that is literally a complete 180 from who I was like literally like six, seven months ago. So I was like, just please give me grace and please just gently talk me through this because like I am giving it all that I got I am being obedient and saying yes but all of this is still so much to manage like when I tell you I need a calendar now I need a calendar because it's like I got meetings with the church like church just ain't a Sunday thing we have church on Sunday we have church every other Tuesday we have meetings for the church with me not being a part of the team every Thursday and like, although I love that, I'm not used to this, right? I'm used to it just being me, my bubble, me being isolated and me and Netflix, you know? So like I told her, I was like, my intentions are pure. My answer is yes, but this is new that I'm walking into and I don't want to let y'all down. And it's going to be a struggle for me when I do want to isolate again. And I know that I can't, uh, don't cry kids. And it's like, I want to isolate, but I know that I can't. Well, it's not even that. I can, but I'm going to push through and choose not to because I have people that are counting on me like this vision is bigger than me. God, trust me with this. So it's kind of like, I don't even want to say new levels, new devils, but it's like, at this point, I feel like it is such an honor to be in this spot because like y'all chose me, right? This is an honor. Like you handle it with care. I don't want to let these people down. Like y'all saw something in me to have me in this space. So I'm going to work hard until I see that too. If that makes sense. I hope I'm not rambling. Anyway, y'all, I'm now on my way to Walmart. I'm starving my butt off, but I realized I don't have my chicken nuggets at home to make the chicken for my salad. 
so we're going to Walmart. I was wondering if I was like, maybe Mackenzie, we can just wait and go to Walmart tomorrow. But I feel like I'm too busy tomorrow. I don't know. That's why I said I need a calendar. I don't know. I don't remember what I signed up for tomorrow, but I feel like I'm gonna get all the text. You ready? You ready? Is we still going out? I know I have obligations tomorrow with friends or something. And like, I don't remember. Like I'm, when I tell y'all I'm not used to this, my weekends used to consist of Wingstop and Netflix until Sunday night was over. I wasn't hanging out with nobody. I didn't have no friends. I didn't have none of those. And now I got friends Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and I love that for me, but it is a lot. So I'm like, we have to maximize our time here, right? <sighs> so I'm on my way to Walmart to get everything else that I need to prep me for the week. And since we can eat out, <laughs> and i'm really excited about it so i'm about to go do that i'm not gonna take y'all with me because honestly like i said creating content is a lot you know i just want to listen to music and shop i feel like people real life be looking at me like i just was over there jamming getting my strawberries they're like stop staring at me can i jam and get my strawberries in peace it? <laughs> anyway kenzie relax um so yeah i'm gonna go grocery shopping i'm gonna go home um, I know it's late and we be having like quiet time hours like you're not supposed to wash your clothes at a certain time But in my mind like bookie it's Friday night for all you know, I could be having a party up in here I'm gonna start some laundry I am going to be up all night I'm gonna try to not be up too late since I got a coffee date in the morning with my bookie, butt. oh my god <laughs> This too much This is too much. Oh my god. I'm thankful though I'm real life on her just rambling. So if y'all real life rocking with me, if y'all are watching this right now, I don't know, leave some butterflies in the chat. Leave some butterflies in the chat because I really want to know who real life just be sitting up here listening to me ramble. Because this is too what I be having a struggle with. Like when I be editing my content, I be wanting to delete all of this out because I'm like, Kenzie, you just be rambling. You ain't even talking about nothing for real. But then I get lazy and I'm like, I ain't editing nothing out because I don't feel like it and then I'll post it anyway. But like, for real, I'm not gonna be hurt. If y'all tell me to start editing this stuff out and just have the basics and get to the point, I will literally do that because you know, y'all are the people that watch my content. I wanna give you what you want as well as do what I love to do. If y'all want me to cut the rambling out, tell me that bookies and I will cut it out. I will take the extra time to cut this out. But I real life just be talking to y'all like we on FaceTime or something. Oh, they got like lights on a car. Okay, lights on a car, that's cute or whatever okay um so yeah i felt like i was gonna tell y'all something but i had forgotten oh y'all want to talk about that y'all know it's crazy i literally told myself i don't need a camera for youtube i'm just gonna keep using my phone like i love using my phone um i think it's time for me to get a camera and i think i'm actually gonna do it like i think i'm actually gonna do it like i don't want to spend the money for it but when I realize, like, I a thousand percent believe, like, a million percent believe YouTube is going to be my career one day. So buying this camera ain't nothing. It's just like, dang, I don't want to see that hit on my account, you know what I mean? But I know that it's going to be literally like, girl, this is an investment into your career. Like, you know where you're headed. You know where you're going to be. And it's time for you to act like it. Spend that money because, baby, you about to be making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of YouTube. So what's a little thousand, like, wait? What's a little thousand? So a seed into what you're about to be doing. Maybe that's how I should end my year off by getting that for myself. And that will be me planting a seed for 2024. Giving y'all better content. Oh my God. I think that just intimidates me too, because it's like, I'm not a techie person whatsoever. So I just wanted to keep it basic and be on my phone. But it's like, the Lord would be like, we got to go further. And I'm like, I don't want to. I just want to use my phone and my little microphone that I bought forever ago that I haven't used yet. And you keep trying to take me to places. You keep trying to take me to glory, to glory, to glory, to glory. And it's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm nervous and I'm scared. Glory to glory to glory. Everybody gets excited. Oh, okay. Let's talk about it. I feel like everybody gets excited when they hear glory to glory to glory to glory. Nobody talks about how scary and nerve wracking and anxious it is to go to glory to glory to glory because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Like, Lord, I was good here. I was good. Like, I'm happy with, I'm content with where you brought me because I didn't even know that I would make it here. So, like, we can stay here. And the Lord's like, you're doing good. I trust you more. And it's like, ooh, cool. But like, 
can I take the more and still stay here in my comfort zone? And he's like, no, I'm going to give you more and you're going to become more. And I'm like, oh my God, this man wants so much from me. He wants so much from me. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. Y'all, I'm about to get off of this phone, acting a fool with y'all. I got stuff to do. I know this Walmart about to close. Um, Y'all see my new purse? I bought myself a new purse. This is so random. Look at my new purse. Look at my new purse and stuff. I love her. Y'all, that's... <coughs> it's time for me to stop talking. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, bookies. It is currently like 9.30 in the morning. <sighs> so much has happened. So much has happened. So y'all remember, y'all remember last night when I was um, talking, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all remember last night when I was talking to you about just feeling overwhelmed and stressed. Mind you, I am not complaining. This is just all in a good way though, right? Like I told you, I went from isolation to like having all these new friends that I gotta make, I don't have to make time for, but my heart wants to make time for. And it's just a hard sudden switch, which is crazy because I told y'all I watched a sermon by Mike Todd called Sudden Switch. And that's literally how I feel. Literally the verse Amos chapter 9, 13 through 15 says things will happen so fast your head will swim. That is the season that I'm in. Like so many blessings, you can't carry them all. Like I can't. And um, mind you, again, I am extremely thankful. This isn't complaining whatsoever. I was on the phone with my cousin last night and the way I just broke down. When I tell you I broke down crying and she was like, what is wrong? And I was like, I'm just extremely overwhelmed. Like, if y'all can't tell, my eyes are puffy. Can you tell? My eyes is like puffy puffer fish. Anyway, I was just like, I'm just extremely overwhelmed because it's crazy to see that I'm actually here. It's like, I'm really seeing that, oh, God is real, real. Like, I knew God is real, but until you see him showing up for you in the ways that you've been needing to see him show up, that's when it hits for real. Because I'm like, I was having suicidal thoughts. Mm. I don't even want to say years ago, because anyway, that's a whole different type of thing. But it's just crazy to know that I came from a place of having suicidal thoughts to being in such a place of love and abundance. Like there's times where I'm at my church and I'm just looking around and I'm like, how did we end up here? How do we end up in such a beautiful place with so much love where if you don't show up, people will pull up to your house like, Buki, what's up? What's good, you know? And I guess they're more so tears of like, we made it this far. I don't wanna cry anymore. Um. It was just a lot to process. And I think ultimately, it's just been a heavy week of change. Like, my life will never be the same. Like, my life will never be the same. I was telling her how, like, I'm not, not saying that I want to isolate again or have the option to isolate, but just knowing that I will never be able to go back to the old me, even if I wanted to, is kind of scary. <laughs> you know, especially when you know that's your default setting, which means these are just simply growing pains, right? Um, because yeah, they're not going to let that happen. And it's all going to be out of love. It's not going to be like out of a whip and like, you better get to church or God doesn't love you. It's not out of that. It's out of love. Like we're not about to let the devil attack you. I'm so used to, um, letting the devil have his way and just sitting in my house and having it be dark and just crying. Like when I was dating my ex-boyfriend, I was going through depression heavy. Uh, and I remember he would just call me. And he was like, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm good. I'm great. He could tell I was lying. He would FaceTime me. It was like, I figured, get up and open them curtains. Because it would just be pitch black. Mind you, it was like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Why is it pitch black in my house? Why am I sulking? He knew. He would always say, call it a check in on your spirit. Because he knew. Um, and I'm just grateful that I will never be back in that spot again. Because these people, like I said, if I miss a church service, if I miss a Sunday, if I miss a Tuesday, shoot, if I miss one of our meetings, I'm going to get calls from multiple people. Baby, where you at? What's going on? What's up? If I don't answer the text, they're going to come to my house. <laughs> it's just a beautiful thing because I swore I would never be here. I swore there was never going to be a way um, that I would be able to have such beautiful friendships as an adult because it is hard. 
finding friends as an adult. It'd be scary for real. Y'all know I'll be watching my lifetime and um I don't I don't I don't trust people like that. <laughs> I don't. Uh I really don't have time to talk to y'all for real. Um I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I need to go meet up with my friend. Y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all know yesterday I told you about I had a coffee date with my friend around nine o'clock. She called me. I didn't go. <sighs> Where do I start? Long story short, y'all, I stayed up until five in the morning weeping. Not tears of sadness, but well, when when big things happen in my life and like my life starts to change like this, I'm like a little kid and I'm like, I want my mama, right? Um, I'm literally like a little kid screaming like deep down inside. <sighs> Deep down inside, I picture baby Mackenzie just screaming like, Mama, I want my mama. And she's not here. For those of y'all that are new, my mom has not passed away. Thankfully, she's not gone. She just chooses not to be a part of my life in a respectful manner. Um, so I can't, we can't, we don't have a relationship. So because of that, I was just weeping. I was on the living room floor and I'm proud of myself because yes, I allowed myself to weep, but I also knew that I needed Jesus in that space with me. Like I wasn't going to let the devil have his way with my tears. And so I played worship music while I was weeping, even though I didn't feel like hearing no worship music. Cause at this point now I'm upset. Now I'm upset. Cause I'm like, God, this is cool. Cool. You're giving me friends. Cool. I have a beautiful place to stay. Cool, I have a nice job. That, all those things are cool, but I want my mom. Oh, and so then it's like me trying not to get angry. Like, God, you're giving me all these things. And honestly, I'll trade all of that stuff if I can have my mama. If I can have my mama back, you can take all of this. I don't, I love my new friends. I love what I have, but nothing will ever replace your mom. Take all of this. I just want my mom. <sighs> anyway, so I just stayed up crying and worshiping. I had my headphones in and I was literally just on my living room floor just worshiping. And that's what's so beautiful about God and why it's so important to read the word. Because as I'm crying in my head, I just hear it won't be long now. These are all scriptures. He heals the brokenhearted. And just like scriptures that I do know just coming to reassure me, like, I know it hurts. I know it's painful, but I need you to trust me. That's why it's so important to read your scripture. Because like, yes, it still hurts. But in that moment, I was able to be like reassured by the spirit from what the Lord said in his word. And he was like, you see what I've done already. You can trust what I'm about to do with this. You see what I've done already. I will make sure this ends up working out for your good. I will not let this situation end up not working for your good. And I just said, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. This shit hurts, but I trust you. Um, geez. Um, anyway. Oh, it's just going to be a crying day. Because I know when I'm about to meet up with my friend, I'm just about to cry some more. Lord help. But anyway, y'all. She... Called me at 9 in the morning, mind you, didn't get into my bed until like 5, 5.30. She called me at 9. She was like, hey, girl, you still want to go? And I was straight up like, I really love you and I want to hang out so bad, but I'm exhausted. Let me tell you something. We got off the phone. I tried to go back to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I called her back. I said, okay, well, I can't go to sleep. And if I get up, I'm going to come see you because I'm up now, Buki. So I'm about to get ready. I'm about to go see her, which I know is going to be good for my soul. That's too why I'm thankful for godly friendships. Let me make sure this is on. Okay, because y'all know it'll be trying to play me. Um, that's why I'm too thankful for godly friendships, because I no longer have friendships where we meet up for pointless interactions, where we meet up and there's gossip or there's negativity. Like, I know that meeting up with her will just fuel me and fill me up even more. So I'm just thankful for that, knowing that my cup isn't as full right now. I know that once I leave her, it will be. Um... And I know that tomorrow is church, so I'm going to be even more full. And it's just, I'm just very thankful. So if I can close this little entry out, I would say, have you an emergency plan? 
have you an emergency plan for those times that you get upset, those times where you know that you're triggered, those times where you know you are going to be your most hurt self. Like for me, it's when I'm thinking about my mom. That's my trigger. What is your emergency plan? My emergency plan now, when it used to be, I'm just going to sit here and cry in the dark. No, my emergency plan now, turn on your worship music. I don't care if you feel like it or not. Get your journal, get your Bible, open up the Bible, find a verse about how Jesus heals the brokenhearted. Find a verse about things working out for your good. Find a verse that speaks to your situation. Don't talk yourself out of it. Do it. It is necessary. Read the verse out loud. Put headphones in and fall asleep to worship music. I don't care if you fall asleep. I don't care if you sit there for hours. You don't just sit there and cry. Because I feel like if you sit there and cry with not setting the atmosphere and inviting the Lord in, you are literally allowing the devil to come into such a vulnerable space and manipulate it and twist it and perverse it and do anything that he wants with it. We're not doing that anymore. So again, I know that it's going to be hard because those be the last times. I don't want to talk to JC right now. If y'all don't know Jesus Christ, I don't want to talk to JC right now, but it's one of those things. Feelings are not fast. I don't care how you feel. You need an emergency plan. My emergency plan, oh, I'm feeling down. Worship, Bible, journal, get it immediately. You got 10 minutes, most likely, before you talk yourself out of it and just be like, FJC, if I'm to be real. Yeah, we're not doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud that I stuck to my emergency plan because yes, there's still tears there, but I feel peace about it. And I do know that everything is gonna be okay. I do know that my God is a restorer, a redeemer. He is a way maker. Everything is fine. It's okay to cry about it, but I still trust at the end of the day, everything is Gucci, bro. <laughs> um, but anywho, like I told you guys in the previous, whatever, the free, <sighs> we're gonna start weekly weigh-ins next Sunday, next Saturday. So I'm going to weigh myself for the first time next Saturday. And we are going to go from there because literally I'm just now ending my monthly and I wasn't even trying to get on that scale for real. I'm not, I wasn't. Mm -mm. So yeah. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Remember to comment, like, subscribe and share me with all your friends. We are almost to you know, I've been saying we're almost to 2,000 subscribers when I really mean we're almost to 1,200 subscribers, but it's okay. We're going to keep thinking big. We are almost to 2,000 subscribers. We are almost to 2,000 bookie butts, bookie boo melons, and I love you guys. I love you all so much. Make sure to comment because y'all know I love talking to y'all, but until next time, I will see you guys next week. I love you guys. Y'all have a great week now. Can I show my love for you?